objective. The objective of this lab is to learn about the two basic constant forces, normal force and friction force, and the variable that relates them, the coefficient of friction denoted by mu. In this lab, you will experimentally find the value for the coefficient of friction for a variety of surfaces. Background. When an object is in motion along a rough surface, the force of friction acts opposite to the direction of the object's motion. Materials. Blocks or plastic boxes with different surfaces, for example, sandpaper, wood, mirror, etc. A 5 newton and 10 newton spring scale. A 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and 0.5 kilogram masses. Procedure. You will perform four sets of measurements for three different surfaces. For each measurement, you will pull the block or box at a constant velocity with the spring scale parallel to the direction of motion. The reading that you record on the spring scale will give the applied force and is equivalent to the friction force that the block experiences. 1. Above the data table, write the material of the surface of the block slash box and the surface on which you will be pulling the block slash box. Step 2. Using a spring scale, measure the weight of the block or box and record the weight of the block in newtons in the data table. 3. You will add weight onto the block slash box with masses such as 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, etc. kilograms that work well. Select four different masses, combinations, and find the weight of each mass, m times g, and record this as the added weight in the table. Step 4. Add the weight of the block and the added weight and record this as total weight in the table. Step 5. The normal force is equal to the total weight. Copy the total weight values to F normal in the table. Step 6. For each of the added weights, pull the block or box at a constant velocity with the spring scale parallel to the direction of motion. The reading that you record on the spring scale will give the applied force and is equivalent to the friction force that the block experiences. Record this as F applied, which is equal to F friction on the table. Please enjoy this high speed demonstration. The application question should be answered as a class. Thank you for your participation in this online lab. See you next time.